just one of the thousands of Ethiopian refugees in Dadaab. <laughs> yeah, since we come, the life is, is good. Uh, it's good. Not bad. But uh, the badness is you can't, you can't move anywhere. You are just here since because there is no way you can go out. The security is very tight on the way. Then we are just here always. Okunjo Ojulu is from Gambela, the troubled region of western Ethiopia along the border with South Sudan. He left there in 2004, fleeing the troubles. Twelve years on, Gambela is still troubled. Just a few weeks ago, hundreds of gunmen stormed over the border from South Sudan, killed 208 people and kidnapped more than 100 children. So for Julu, Gambela is not an option. But then where is? We are just around here, nothing, no Restalema, no what, and people are going. But we, we are still around waiting for you, and but you and didn't make anything for us. Uh, unless even saying that we are going to take you back uh, to your homeland. And then we, we, we just confuse now where to go. The thought of moving to Kenya's other big camp, Kakuma, worries him. Kakuma, I don't think there, there is not safe even. Because you know, there is near to the border of Ethiopia. Because Ethiopia maybe can come and attack us there. For now, Julu must live in a state of constant uncertainty, like so many others here. Not far from the Gambela section of the camp, we find a community of refugees from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Saidi Welongo has been here almost 10 years and is ready to move on. It's not a bad decision to close the camp, as long as they settle us somewhere else. We are fine, as long as they don't make us go back home. Yeah. The Kenyan government has said the dub will close by September, but it has given no details how nor what will actually happen to the refugees. Even UN staff working at Adab are not sure what's the plan. Some people have lived here their entire lives. Many clearly are scared to go home. Kenya's president insists their repatriation will be handled carefully. Catherine Ogunde, CCTV, Dadaab, Kenya.